we see about one more interesting topic inductive set we write first definition definition of inductive set a subset a a subset a of r real numbers is said to be inductive is said to be inductive inductive if it contains the if it contains if it contains the number one if it contains the number one and x belongs to a implies that x plus one belongs to a okay then a collection of inductive subset of R and Z plus positive integer is defined as intersection of this A. A belongs to this collection of subset of Z. Now we see about that the basic properties of Z plus. Okay. That means Z plus Z plus be inductive. Inductive. And now we tell about two things. Z plus is inductive. Now we tell about principle of induction. Okay. Principle of induction. Principle of induction induction if if a is an inductive a b an inductive set inductive set set of positive integers inductive set of positive integers then then a equal to z plus then a equal to z plus okay now we call section of positive integer this one is the principle of induction now section of positive integer section of positive integers simple event okay how we write about section of positive integers if n if n be a positive integer n be a positive integer then 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 sn denote the set of all positive integer less than n then Sn denote the set of all positive integer denote the set of all positive integers all positive integers less than n less than n we call it a section of positive integer less than n we call it we call it a section of positive integers a section of positive integers okay and this one equal to one two dot 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 in is n plus one okay next we tell about that x that means is n equal to here one two dot 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 n minus one okay now now we tell about these things definition of inductive set a subset is said to be inductive 
it it contains the number one and x belongs to a implies x plus one belongs to a and z plus b inductive some example and principle of induction if a be inductive set of positive integers then a equal to z plus and section of positive integers if a and b a positive integer then a and denote the set of all positive integers less than a and we call it a section of positive integer is n equal to 1 2 dot 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 n minus 1 and is n plus 1 equal to 1 2 dot 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 n okay now it is this for sums now we start about this all ordering property and strong induction principle this two important property of set of positive integers Now we erase completely. Now we start it by we start it by simply all ordering property. Every non empty subset of Z plus has a smallest element. We first prove that we first prove that for proof. Okay. We first prove that for each n belongs to Z plus. For each n belongs to Z plus, the following statement every non empty subset has a smallest element. Every, every non empty And every non empty subset of not Z plus. We're going to Z plus next thing. We every non empty subset of has the smallest element. Let A be the set of all positive integers A for which this statement holds. Okay. Now we write it. For which this statement holds, okay? A be the set of all positive integers for which this statement holds, then A contains 1. Since if n equal to 1.
and the only non empty subset of this is one itself and the only non empty subset of this one which one itself okay then 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 supposing a contains a we show that it contains n plus one then a contains in we show that it contains n plus one so let let c be a non-empty subset of this and c contains the single element this one so here here we write here that means so so let c be a non-empty subset of this set let c be a non-empty subset of this one okay then if c const if c consists if c consists the element this c consists the single element okay c consists the single element the element this only okay then this one is single element then that element is the smallest element of c then smallest element of c okay now now otherwise otherwise consider the set otherwise consider the set the set c intersection of one two dot 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 n okay which is non-empty which is non-empty because n belongs to a n belongs to a this set has a smallest element this set has a smallest element which will automatically be the smallest element of c also which will automatically which is automatically smallest element of c also okay thus a is inductive thus 
ए बी इंडक्टिव देन वो एरेज दिस फोर सम सो वी कंक्लूड दैट विच इरेज दिस फोर सम्स this one also so we conclude so we we conclude that a equal to j plus okay hence the statement is true for all hence the statement is true for all n belongs to z plus okay now we prove the theorem now we prove this theorem every non empty subset of z plus has smallest element okay how we prove it we prove it just it is this portion also okay then this one suppose d is a non empty subset of z plus suppose that d is a non empty subset of z plus choose an element n belongs to d choose then the set a equal to d intersection of 1 2 dot 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 n is non empty so that a has a smallest element k that means t is a non empty subset choose an element n belongs to d then the set a equal to d intersection of 1 to dot 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 n is non empty so that a has a, a smallest element k The element k is automatically the smallest element of d as well. The element k is automatically smallest element of d as well okay then then every non empty subset of z plus it has a smallest element we first prove this every non empty subset of 1 to dot 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 in that means section of integer positive integer section of positive integers has a smallest element then we see about that this a equal to a set of all positive integers in for this statement hold then a equal to z plus and then we show that d is a non-empty subset of z plus and choose an element n belongs to d then the set d intersection this is non-empty and so that a has a smallest element k 
then the element k is automatically the smallest element of t as well okay then every non-empty subset of z plus has a smallest element so we prove the well ordering property now next we construct strong induction property and we also prove this okay strong induction principle let a be a set of positive integers Suppose that for each positive integers, the statement a sense subset of A implies that the statement A belongs to A. implies the statement then a equal to z plus okay a be a set of positive integers suppose that for each positive integer in the statement a sense subset of a implies that the statement n belongs to a then a equal to z plus proof now if a does not equal to the z plus if this one okay then let n be the smallest positive integer that is not in a if 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 let let n be the smallest positive integer that is not in a Then every positive integer less than a is in a. So so is a subset of a and our hypothesis implies that n belongs to a contradictory to the assumption okay that means a not equal to z plus so for each positive integer that is statement sn sn this statement statement p this that means statement a for each positive integer the statement sn co implies that the statement n belongs to a that means if a does not equal to z plus then n be the smallest positive integer that is not in a okay then every positive integer less than n in a so that s n subset of a 
or hypothesis implies that n belongs to a okay then this one the, then this one is contradictory because inductive set means sn subset of a means n belongs to a okay so this implies that a equal to z plus now now we we say about that archimedean polar property of line that means the set z plus of positive integer has no upper bound in r this is the archimedean ordering property of real line and this one now we say loss of exponent loss of exponent define it simply now we erase this portion lots of exponent then a to the power n a to the power a These are called lots of exponent. Okay. So, well, obviously. Stop here.